Let's create a really quick and easy way to use QuickBase pipelines to create templates inside of QuickBase. Here we've got a basic project manager. You can find it in the App Exchange. It's the ABC Project Manager. The most important part, projects of tasks. And when we create a specific type of a project, we want all these tasks to be automatically created for us. Well, how might we do that? Well, we could create a new table, and I'm going to do this real time. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to call this uh, template uh, templates. And one of these is a template, and we'll use this as a symbol of a template. And now that we're going to be keeping track of information, I'm going to say type right at the very top. And I'm going to say that this is a uh, multiple choice. And now we have a task, which is in here. We have uh, the um, days or duration of how long a task is going to be. And that'll be a number. And we, um, and for the most part, let, let's just use these. But they, you could add status, uh, a whole bunch of things uh, in here uh, along with it. Uh, but we'll, that's what we'll use as a foundation. So uh, the first type of task, we'll, we'll, we'll say onboarding. And uh, maybe there's a, uh, another type, and it was a dismissal. And I don't know if I'm spelling dismissal properly, but we'll see. So we have two different types of tasks here. Let's go over here. Let's look at the templates that we have we don't have any, we're going to add the things for onboarding. So we'll say this one is onboarding. And the first task is uh, uh, um, uh, send letter. And let's say that takes one day to do. And we'll hit save. And then we'll create a, uh, a another uh, template. This again is onboarding, send letter, and order laptop. And let's say that takes uh, five days. And we're going to add another one of these for onboarding. And that will be a task uh, for um, setup monitor. And let's say that's going to be one day. So you kind of get the idea. If I look at all the templates, the tasks, these are the things that are common for onboarding. And then if we created one for dismissal, just for the heck of it here, dismissal, um, shut off email. And we'll say that takes one day. And one other thing, we will um, add another one for dismissal. And it will be uh, send check. And let's say that takes four days to do. So these are, the, the whole idea of this is that you've got this table that can um, very quickly uh, become the way and process of business and, um, that you're doing. And you want to copy it down into uh, the tasks whenever it's selected. So now that we've got this table, let's go over to projects because when we create a new project, we don't know what kind of project it is because this application doesn't have it. But right to the right of this, I'm right click adding a field here, which is going to be the type of template we are or uh, type of project that we're going to do. And it's going to be a multiple choice. And rather than entering something in here, let me just say done. Uh, because I don't want to be maintaining this every time I add a template, come back over here and update this. I'm going to um, um, edit this type field and look at that other table as the inspiration for the field names. So here we are in this app and I'm looking for ABC Project Manager 1, ABC Project Manager 1. And I'm going to search, and I probably have a whole bunch of these, which I really do, which is a real problem. And this is why I put days uh, in, in the front of, of these. And let's assume that it's the very last one. Uh, we can't do that. Uh, what I need to do 
is to rename this so it's one I can find because I've got over 8,000 different applications. So let's go into the project manager one and we will we'll put on the front of this template. Okay, so we can tell this application from another. All right, now I'm gonna go back into projects and now I'll go into the type field that we're talking about down here. Right click, edit the field properties. I'm saying I wanna select it from another location. And so what is that? And it is template ABC. Let's see if we find that application click template ABC project manager one there it is and here I can find um, all of the fields within that app now what I'm looking for is the templates there we come down here to templates and there is one that is type this is the field that is in common with each one of those template types. So I'm going to select that. That is going to become my drop-down box. So let's save that. Now when I click on edit, you can see whenever we add one of these, it's picking this up. This is auto-adjusting, meaning as you add templates, this is going to be there to um, be selections for any new templates you might have. Okay. So if we actually came over here to a project and we said, you know, we want to create a new project and uh, we create the name of it and select this, I want to take all of the onboarding tasks and auto fill them into this area down below here. So that's what we want to do with a pipeline. So let me jump over to our pipelines. And, uh, and before we actually start the pipeline, there's something that has to be enabled inside of QuickBase's application, and that is we have to come up to your name and create a user token. So I'm going to go under my preferences. I'll scoot down to manage my user tokens. And I haven't created one in here, but I'm going to do it right now. And I'll call this tokens. And I need to look for the application that we're doing in its template, ABC Project Manager, there, and save. Now I'm going to grab this, right click, and copy this, this because I'm going to need that when I go over and go into pipeline, my page out here in pipelines. So let me do that again. We'll call this template pipeline and create it. Okay, here um, on the right hand side I have channels and it's all originating from QuickBase and I'll use this one right here as a triggering event. Um, I think I added and called them tokens. This is the webinars realm and the user token I'm going to paste in here is this one and then connect to QuickBase. Okay, it's called Tokens. And now it's going to show me the app and all the tables that are in there. And I'm specifically triggering off something that happens in the projects area. So whenever a projects table is, is a record is created in that projects table, uh, what do I want to know about that? I want the uh, type to be known that that's an important piece and let's see if there's anything else there isn't really anything else I need to know at this at this point but what do I want that to happen I want to now go into an action and uh, or actually search I'm going to be searching the template table right so we come down here you want to use the tokens. We want to search in the table for templates. And the information we want is type. But we also have duration and task. And that's all I really brought over here for this example. Um, okay, and now under the query, when we're searching it, I said I want to know um, in condition 
the where the type is equal to the now this is a hard coded um, item I'm hard coding this no I'm actually looking at step a which is where it was created and finding the uh, the type here it is right here and putting that in here so it'll be the appropriate type so for every rec to uh, create a record using the tokens account where do I want to create this I want to create this in the tasks table and the values that we want are really the related project the task name and the duration those are the only fields now because I've selected these they now show up here and I can have the benefit of gee we started off with the record ID of this project that means this is going to be something important when we add tasks because this will link it right back up to that uh, project we started with and as we come down now the um, next step is all the stuff we figured out in B which is searching the um, template table and so what do we need for the task name here it's right here task so we'll put that in there and as we scroll down here the, here's the duration those are the those are the two related the task and duration okay we're going to turn this on it's listening we're going to um, go back into um, our templates application and we'll come in and create a project and it's uh, project one and we don't have to fill out all this extra stuff here but uh, we we will just for the heck of it okay now here's where we don't have any tasks to find but we're going to do the onboarding tasks I'm going to click on save now let's go over to the pipelines and see what's happening so this is waiting now it's triggered it's starting to run it recognized it in step a a record was found it found three records in the template and as we come down here it creates one record two records and three records so let's go back over to this notice that they're not here yet it's because I haven't refreshed the browser and here we have uh, set up monitor order and send letter uh, let us create a new project and this will be uh, project two and we don't have to fill out all the extra detail here we can go right down here and say do the dismissal uh, type of a project we hit save and uh, in the background the same thing is happening it's running and let's see if it's done it yet refresh refresh there's one send the check refresh you can see it's happening there send the check and shut off the we cover things like this in our webinars that we hold every day Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. East Coast time you can find that at quickpace.com slash webinars uh, everyone's welcome you can ask any kind of question you'd like to thanks